some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Gaylord, Michigan, where de facto media group is dead set at antagonizing the local police just to get more content for his rather sorry YouTube channel. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Gaylord a town of about 4,000 people in northern Michigan, was devastated earlier this year by a rare, record-breaking EF3 tornado. EF3 tornadoes are not exceedingly rare, making up for approximately 4% of all tornado activity since 1950. Now, another question I have is what records did it break? I mean, you don't provide any sources or anything like that, so it's kind of, uh... You pulling statistics out of your ass? A devastating tornado rips through northern Michigan. First at 11, one person is dead and 44 people are injured. Confirmed tornado causing significant damage in Gaylord, Michigan, where buildings are flattened and debris litters the ground. Now, over six months later, as Gaylord rebuilds and continues forward, there's another storm brewing that's becoming more and more evident. The background music, the soft voice, all an appeal to pathos, an appeal to emotion, to prepare somebody to accept what they're about to say. Somebody definitely studied rhetoric, and they're going to definitely use this skill to present you with a bunch of BS, as the video will plainly show. The Storm of Tyranny Recently, several videos have emerged showing aggressive behavior towards civilians from local law enforcement. De facto begins recording as he approaches this traffic stop. Oh yeah, he's just innocently walking up to a traffic stop. He has no ill will intended. He is not looking for confrontation. Yeah, right. Several minutes elapse until Michigan State Trooper Jacob Hubbard initiates contact. Awesome. You didn't have it on that whole time? No, it's been on. Oh, good, good. Yeah, it's always on, my man. Sweet, awesome. Sounds good to me. This is the next interaction. Former frauditor Big Wes talked about this very method right here. That frauditors don't care about what's in the vehicle whatsoever. All they want to do is provoke a response by looking in the vehicle. And unfortunately, in this case, the police officer takes the bait. So the lens licker gets what he wants out of it. He gets a confrontation that can make him look very good on YouTube to his rather pathetic fan base. Hey, get away from my car! Absolutely hey, not! Over here. Absolutely get not! Over here. Absolutely not! not. I am on public get property! Get over here! I am here. on public property! Get out of here! I am on public get property! Get over there, away from I the I am stop. on public property! Are you gonna, are you gonna create a problem? I'm on public property! Get out of here. I am on public property. You can, you can be right here, but you gotta go down the way. I am on public property. Go over here. I am here. on public go property. Over here. I am on public property. You look up Glick. You What's look up Glick? Glick. What's go Glick? Look it up. You don't know Glick? What's Glick? You don't know about filming the public? No, I know about filming the public, but Let I'm asking. Face, you, you're by my car. Fuck. You're by my car. I don't give a f public car, isn't it? No, it's not. Yes, you, it you don't is. have access to be inside the car. I'm not inside your car, am I? You don't have access to be touching the car. I didn't touch the car, did you I? You got real close to it. I had to make sure. Get real close. Oh, I'll get real hit close. Me. You no, hit, hit me. Bullshit. You, you hit me. me you just put your arm out. Keep trying, buddy. Keep trying. Get away from me. Fuck. Oh, I'm gas. Go suck it. Nice. Go suck it, coward. 
Assault me on public property. Assault me. Trooper Hubbard clearly had an issue with this man exercising his First Amendment right. He then hinders, assaults, and accuses the man of assaulting him. You know, your trooper just assaulted me. You guys are going to be YouTube famous, just like Kaukaska. If you're going to lie like that, don't show the video that proves that you what you're saying is a total lie. Otherwise, it's just going to make you look like a complete fool. But I realize that's not your point. Your point is to try to make these guys look like tyrants, as you stated earlier in the video. But these pictures right here you see on the screen now are of pictures of real 20th century tyrants. And these are the results of their tyranny. Look at them well. Do we have anything close to that level in this country? I don't think so. If you want to know what it's like to live under a tyrant, go to Germany and talk to those who actually lived under Adolf Hitler. Then you will learn what being under a tyrant is like. Or better yet, find the YouTube channels of those who escaped from North Korea and learn about what it's really like to live under tyranny.